RPM load looking good. Airspeed's alive. Six. Wait a minute. What kind of fashion was that? Let's rewind. These are survival suits. Not very comfortable, but you can see the reason why we are wearing them right after takeoff. We are wearing those for flights over water. Sea temperature of the Mediterranean at this time of the year is only about 12 degrees Celsius. However, the suits would keep us dry in the very unlikely case of a ditching and together with the life vests and raft in the back drastically increase our chances of survival. Okay, engage. Flight director with flight level change on death. Our Continental CD300 engine continues to run not only efficiently, but also reliably. So the only time the suits were exposed to water was during the sea survival training at our partner Deutsche Windguard. As we say in aviation, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. After crossing both the Mediterranean and Red Sea a couple of days ago, we have made our way over the Persian Gulf and are en route to Dubai. After seeing how fuel efficient airframes are manufactured at Diamond Aircraft in Austria in our last vlog, we are able to visit the second initiative of our trip here in Dubai, both from the ground and after departing Al Maktoum Airport on our way to Muscat, also from the air. Located in the UAE desert, the facility can potentially prove crucial for the future production of sustainable aviation fuels, so-called SAF. SAF is currently used as a drop-in added to conventional fossil jet fuel. Present-day aircraft engines, including the Continental CD300 on our DA50, run on as high as 50% SAF, while the ratio actually depends on the resources used for SAF production. SAF can indeed be derived from various sources. We will touch on our partner Synhalion's approach and BioSAF in future episodes. For now, let's focus on the power to liquid method. As the name already implies, one of the inputs for power to liquid fuels is electric power. And the arid climate of the UAE favors one production method for electricity in particular. At the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park, it becomes obvious that locals well understand the procedures for harvesting the sun's potential as an abundant source of renewable energy. Converting sunlight through photovoltaic panels into clean electricity and using it to power electrolysis enables the production of green hydrogen, a project currently run at the solar park. Together with CO2 captured from various sources, the hydrogen can be further converted into syngas, which allows for the subsequent refinement of SAF and other hydrocarbon fuels. In short, by using electric power and CO2, liquid fuels can be produced synthetically. Naturally, also burning synthetic fuels in a combustion engine produces CO2 emissions. But if we manage to remove the necessary CO2 for fuel production from our atmosphere, the carbon cycle can be closed and power to liquid fuels become carbon neutral, or in other words, a true sustainable aviation fuel. But let's continue onwards to Muscat and more on SAF, as well as ways for removing CO2 from our atmosphere in future episodes.
measures briefly approach into Muscat. It's a really cool initiative. Robert and I got to see a lot of what will come in the next few years in Dubai, and I think it's great that we were able to spend some time also in the city, which within the future will become even greener. Also, Tang Tango established ILS 08 left. Delta Tang Tango, in case you must approach 3000 feet on your heading. Thank you for cooperation. Tower 18, 825. Tower 18, 825. In case of missed approach, run away heading 3000. Hotel Tang Tango, bye bye. Muscat Tower, Salam Alaikum, Hotel Bravo, Romeo Tango Tango, it's established ILS runway 08 left. Tango Tango, wind 0401, north 08 left, clear left. 08 left, clear to land, hotel Tango Tango.